Item number SCP-332 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Observation Station 55B has been constructed to monitor and study SCP-332. Due to the danger of initiating an activation event, SCP-332 has had an area of exclusion established around it, covering the area of effect. This area is surrounded by a 5 meter tall and 1.5 meter thick concrete wall. Security personnel are to be stationed every 50 meters, with regular patrols around the outer portion of the perimeter taking place every half hour. When SCP-332 enters its active state, all site personnel are to monitor the length and intensity of the sound produced by SCP-332 from soundproofed observation areas until the active state ceases. Description. SCP-332 is the class of 1976 Kirk Longwood High School Marching Band, located in the town of The band is composed of 30 humanoids, known as SCP-332-1 through-30. All 30 instances of SCP-332 wear 1976 band uniforms, and play instruments manufactured before 1976. The words, Syncope Symphony, have been engraved into each instrument. Individuals within SCP-332 do not display normal human behavior and will stand at attention in the center of the former Kirk Longwood High School football field when not in an active state. Occasionally, individual instances of SCP-332 have been known to suddenly begin struggling with an unseen force before returning to their normal stance. The reason for this behavior is unknown. No instance of SCP-332 has ever attempted to communicate with Foundation personnel. Instances of SCP-332 do not appear to feel hunger, pain, or suffer from exposure to the elements, and have been in the same location for over 30 years without suffering from negative effects. Once every 48 hours, SCP-332 will enter active state. SCP-332 will also emit sound if any person enters the area of exclusion, or if a noise between 15 and 80,000 Hz is made within the zone. SCP-332's active state consists of it marching around the perimeter of the Kirk Longwood High School football stadium for a period between 15 and 45 minutes. Following this, SCP-332 will proceed to the center of the field and play a music piece. Pieces played by SCP-332 vary, but it primarily consists of marching band arrangements of popular songs from 1967 to 1973. Sounds produced by SCP-332 have a consistent volume throughout the active zone, with the sound fading abruptly outside of that zone. If a subject is able to hear the music played by SCP-332, they will attempt to obtain any instrument near them and join SCP-332 in playing. Subjects affected in this manner, hereafter known as SCP-332-B, will report high amounts of anxiety if unable to obtain a musical instrument within 10 minutes of coming under SCP-332's effect. If they are unable to join SCP-332 within 10 minutes, they will walk with the band and begin miming an instrument as they march with the band, and will attempt to replicate the sound being produced by SCP-332 with their voice. Instances of SCP-332-B who join with SCP-332 will march and play until they pass out from exhaustion or hunger, at which point they will be trampled by other instances of SCP-332-B and SCP-332. For every ten SCP-332-B instances who join SCP-332, the area of effect will increase by 300 meters. This radius of effect will expand until all instances of SCP-332-B are terminated or incapacitated, at which point SCP-332's active state will immediately cease. SCP-332 was contained following Incident 332-A, the incident during which SCP-332 was initially activated. Between the point from when it activated to being disabled by Foundation agents, Incident 332-A resulted in the deaths of 40% of Kirk Longwood High School staff and students. The school was closed down under the pretense of fire damage, with students, locals, and survivors being issued Class B amnesiacs. Successful containment of SCP-332 was achieved on July 17, 1976, with a classification of Euclid. Addendum 332-B Transcript of Incident 332-A during initial cleanup operations following SCP-332's containment, a 16mm camera was discovered outside what would have been the first-story window of Kirk Longwood High School. 
The transcript of this video, although highly corrupted, is the only record of Incident 332A. 0 to 10 seconds. The camera is pointed out a large window, believed to be in the school's front office. Several members of SCP-332 can be seen preparing their instruments on the field. There is no sound. 10 seconds to a minute 34. The camera swings towards unidentified woman number 1. It is believed that the cameraman is speaking to her, although no sound can be heard. One of SCP-332's clarinet players can be seen walking by in the background. 134-455 Section of the tape is damaged, no identifiable content present. 455-5 minutes Picture and sound briefly become clear, and a voice believed to belong to unidentified woman number one remarks about one band member's outfit having an unusual attribute although what was unusual about it is not heard. 5 minutes to 6 minutes 2 seconds. Static. 6 minutes 2 seconds to 8 minutes 4 seconds. Sound and picture return with greatly improved quality, with the cameraman chatting with unidentified woman number 1. Unidentified woman number 2 is heard off-screen at 7 minutes 9 seconds, referencing a band equipment supplier known as Synscope Symphony, and remarking that she was unable to find it with the information that was provided to her. Unidentified man number one, also in the background, claims that he will investigate it at a later date. 8 minutes 4 seconds to 16 minutes and 22 seconds. Sound cuts out again. Camera is pointed out to the field as SCP-332 begins to perform. At the 11 minute mark, several persons in the audience begin to exhibit signs of distress. At the 11 minute 30 second mark, the camera is violently jerked away from the floor and dropped. Several persons, including the cameraman and unidentified woman number two, are seen to move around the office in a state of distress. At the 11 minute 45 second mark, SCP-332 enters an active state. Unidentified woman number one is seen to exit the office to go outside at the 16 minute mark. 16 minutes 22 seconds to 18 minutes and 45 seconds. Static. 18 minutes and 45 seconds to 19 minutes. The camera is picked up and pans around the room. Several deceased persons are visible in frame, including the original cameraman. The camera is briefly pointed out the window, where SCP-332 can be seen playing. The tape ends at the 19-minute mark.